I don't know if this is going to go or not. This I had the other letter going up from Jack Hartsfield. I, I don't think he minds. Sent them to me, I think. For, he says here, and this one was dated March the 24th of 2006, and he says at quiet moments, I do try to make a grounded assessment of all the above. If the dastardly events above, particularly as related to all to the FBI's Division Five and assorted shenanigans, were public, what would were made public, what would be the results? It could perhaps be very destabilizing for the nation as a whole. The Huntsville experience, the agony of et cetera, et cetera. But most of all, what he's saying, too, and the rest of this, and I put it on previously, this letter, uh, that um, if they told about my kidnapping, I'm Margaret Ann Windsor Victoria the second. I'm the legal heir to the British Crown. They took me to Moulton, Alabama. My own uncle, George, uh, gave the New World Order, the Freemasons, that's in power now today, uh, the Jews, uh, Joe Kennedy was ambassador, the good old Irish Boston. And my mother, I found out that my father, Edward VIII, was taken down. His own brother helped take him down illegally and kidnapped me. Now, what a brother this is, right? And he became illegal George VI, Elizabeth's father. So they're dirty, rotten traitors. She's lived my life while I was brought over here. Moulton, Alabama, and uh, that's a glossed over photo I might have. There were no cars. They had to go to Huntsville or Decatur and get a photographer. This is way back, uh, and they brought it in on a tripod, and I ran off trying to tell them I wasn't a member of that family. I wasn't going to have my picture made. You see, they brought me back, and this is the woman that was mother of the twins, Peggy and Carl, and they gave me the name of Peggy, and both twins were dead, killed by her, and the family covered it up. The state of Alabama even marked through the dates of birth, which were illegally, because they didn't fit when they gave me the date of birth when they kidnapped me and brought me there, so Elizabeth... Lived a good life. She's a gave away my country, and uh, wow, try to tell the truth or be honest, and you know where it gets you. So here, I want to read this about Jack. If this is not, he just talks about uh, he. I was sent out uh, went out to Larry Flint's because he was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I was writing about mind control murders, programming people to shoot, and. Uh, he was shot in Lawrenceville in his attorney kill, and he did the parody on Jerry Falwell and uh, Freedom of Speech. It went before the Supreme Court, and he paid a price for telling about the Bloomingdale tapes and all that. But uh, I guess that's all I was going to tell in that. It's kind of hard to put it together and make sense. Uh, well, you can make sense out of it, and most people, I don't know what they do with it. They're the spell off. I usually have it a little bit more intact than this, though. Let me see if what I want to try here. Oh, uh, to tell. First of all, Sal Vizzini, this is a letter to him that Jack wrote uh, June 25th of 08. Sal Pazzini was former FBI, and he was sent to, and yeah, he wrote a book about it. I don't know if you can still get it. It was a long time ago. I read it in 1980 after I'd written the medical malpractice book on mind control and uh, how you program people to shoot or kill or modify behavior. The uh, interface was put in me April full day of 80. And uh, I was illegally taken across the state line to Huntsville. And only Jack was there. He was a reporter for the Huntsville Times, but Jack is FBI. He later went on to the New Mexico News. And after that, I found out about my kidnapping, why all this really happened, not just the book I wrote or tried to get published and I wrote. Uh, my father, Edward VIII, was illegally taken down. by his own brother, George VI, illegal George VI, and Roosevelt. 
the appointed Kennedy ambassador and JFK and his older brother helped him by kidnapping and his father and the Illuminati, the Freemasons, which is uh, the Jews, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Bilderbergers. Now then, you can Google that my own relative, which is probably a cousin, I'm not sure, um, and what is his name? They call it, He's titled Duke of Kent. I think Elizabeth has put him up in, in um, Kensington Palace with an apartment. He and Vic Lord, uh, listen to this, he's titled Lord Victor Rothschild, a Jewish that helped in my kidnapping, too. My own family helped in it. They are the top Freemasons in England now. So the poor, the, the sad part is the British citizens that have felt the brunt of all this and the hell, they're held hostages from a long time back when they kidnapped me in 41, brought me over here. I'm Victoria the second legal heir. So I'm going to try to get to this about Sal Bazzini. I was taken over there, I had antifreeze put in me, illegally taken over there. I worked for the uh, DA's office, Fred Simpson uh, there, Madison County DA. So all Jack's doing here is, is uh, I don't know how Jack knew all he knew, but anyway, let's see, I really don't have this laid out, do I? Spending all this time trying to open it up, because I know there was a reason on here. If I can find it. Uh, he's talking about, oh, he's talking about, oh, um, national security the uh, Delucci, Sicilian born and raised in Illinois, son of uh, late Las Vegas beer distributor. Uh, I don't know. Oh, he's still about Peter Abbott. So I was in the DA's office, Fred Simpson's, and Peter Abbott was arrested and he had so many aliases. I remember the file on him in the FBI. But Susan Boda here, he mentioned, was a friend of, where is her name? Susan was a friend of. Jack, that wrote me the letter, reporter, FBI agent, and uh, I met her, and she testified against Peter Abbott. It goes into the next district attorney that beat Simpson. It goes into a mess, and she testified in court in um, St. Peter's, where? Uh, I can't remember, in Jacksonville, Florida. And when she come back, we were going to watch, she came over and we were going to watch 2020 because she was on it and she said she testified and she didn't even know who she testified for. Well, instead of, when 2020 put the first half on about the Hell's Angels and then they deleted Susan in the next half hour and rerun the Hell's Angels. So it's been weird. Nobody picks up on it or even wants to hear it. It's not they don't pick up on it. But, um, I mean, I don't know. There's more about that. I think I've lost that page of what I wanted to tell. So I, I guess that one's gone. I won't try going out of Let me see here. This one was February 13th of 09. Um... He's talking about here about the Freemasons. That's who kidnapped me in the Knights Templars. And he's talking about the king of, of Templar Knights uh, had control over the French Empire and wanted to destroy them all to confiscate their wealth. Many of the Templar Knights were prosecuted and killed, but as fate would have it, others survived, survived fleeing to safety. He's talking about on down here, though, um, they were supposed to have been the pros pros possessors of the Holy Grail, the cup from which Christ drank at the Last Supper. There is, however, a twist to just precisely that Holy Grail actually was. The Templar Knights, according to legends, if you were legend, held proof that Jesus of Nazareth was actually married, contrary to biblical interpretations and that the Roman, the vessel of Christ's procreation, was secreted out of Jerusalem to faraway lands, first to Egypt, later to Spain and France after the crucifixion. The bottom line was that the Templar Knights, later the Masonic Freemans, 